NASA has discovered a planet that could potentially support life, and it is located 137 light years away from us. This planet is unlike anything we have seen before in our solar system. It is bigger than Earth, liquid water could exist on the surface, and the year lasts only 19 days. This is not science fiction, but the reality of a newly discovered world that NASA calls a super Earth. In this video, we will explore this amazing discovery and what it means for our understanding of the universe and the possibility of life beyond Earth. We will answer questions like, what is a super Earth? How was it discovered? What makes it potentially habitable? And what are the next steps for exploring it? So stay tuned and get ready to learn more about this fascinating new world. A super Earth is a type of planet that is larger than Earth, but smaller than the gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. They are usually rocky and have solid surfaces, unlike the gas giants that have thick atmospheres and no clear boundaries between the surface and the sky. They are also more common than Earth-like planets in the galaxy, as they can form around different types of stars and in different locations. The super-Earth we are talking about today is called Toy 715b, and it is one of the most promising candidates for being habitable, meaning that it could support life as we know it. It is about 1.5 times as wide as Earth, and it orbits within the conservative habitable zone around its star, which is the region where the temperature is just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. Toy I-715b orbits a small, reddish star that is called a red dwarf. They are the most common type of stars in the galaxy, and they are smaller and cooler than the Sun. This means that the planets that orbit them have to be closer to receive enough heat and light. In fact, this super-Earth is so close to its star that it completes a full orbit, which means a year, in just 19 days. That's faster than Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun in our solar system. Here is an image that shows the size comparison of Earth and Toy 715b, and a diagram that shows the orbit of it around its star. As you can see, the planet is much bigger than Earth, and the star is much smaller than the Sun. The habitable zone is also much narrower and closer to the star than in our solar system. But how do we know that it's actually a super-Earth and not a gas giant? And how do we know that it is potentially habitable and not too hot or too cold? To answer these questions, we need to look at how it was discovered. So let's move on to this point and find out. TOI 715b was discovered by a NASA mission called TESS, which stands for Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. TESS is a space telescope that scans the sky for planets that orbit other stars, or exoplanets. It uses a method called the transit method, which detects the tiny dips in the brightness of a star when a planet passes in front of it, or transits. By measuring the amount and the duration of the dip, it can estimate the size and the orbit of the planet. The shorter duration of completing a full orbit helps scientists to detect and study the planet properly, as it means that the planet transits more often and gives more data points. However, the transit method alone cannot tell us everything about the planet, such as its mass, density, composition, or atmosphere. For that, we need other methods and instruments, such as the radial velocity method, which measures the wobble of the star caused by the gravitational pull of the planet, or the spectroscopy method, which analyzes the light of the star and the planet to reveal their chemical signatures. One of the instruments that will help to scrutinize TOI 715b and its possible companion is the James Webb Space Telescope. JWST was launched on 25th of December 2021, and it can observe the infrared light of the stars and planets, which is invisible to the human eye, and reveal their secrets. It can also study the atmospheres of the planets, if they have any, and look for signs of water, oxygen, methane, and other molecules that could indicate the presence of life. But what makes 2I-715b potentially habitable, and what are the challenges and opportunities of exploring it? Let's find out. 
TOI 715b is potentially habitable because it orbits within the habitable zone around its star, which means that it could have liquid water on its surface. However, this is not a guarantee, as there are many other factors that could affect the habitability of a planet, such as its mass, density, composition, atmosphere, magnetic field, and history. For example, if the planet is too massive, it could have a thick atmosphere that traps too much heat and creates a runaway greenhouse effect, like Venus. If the planet is too dense, it could have a rocky surface that is too dry and barren, like Mars. If the planet has no atmosphere, that is mean no protection from the radiation and the temperature fluctuations of its star, like Mercury. If the planet has no magnetic field, that is mean no shield from the stellar winds that could strip away its atmosphere, like Mars. Therefore, to determine the habitability of Toy 715b, we need to measure its mass, density, composition, atmosphere, magnetic field, and history, and compare them with those of Earth and other planets. This is not an easy task, as it requires a lot of observations and calculations, and a lot of uncertainties and assumptions. One of the challenges of exploring Toy 715b is that it orbits a red dwarf star, which is a type of star that has some drawbacks for habitability. Red dwarfs are known to be very active and variable, meaning that they can produce flares, spots, and cycles that can affect the brightness and the radiation of the star. These variations can cause changes in the temperature and the weather of the planet, and also damage its atmosphere and surface. Red dwarfs are also known to be very old, meaning that they have been around for a long time and have evolved slowly. One of the opportunities of exploring Toy 715b is that it is relatively close to us by astronomical standards. It is only 137 light years away. This is much closer than many other exoplanets that we have discovered, which are thousands or even tens of thousands of light years away. This means that we can observe it more easily and accurately and also communicate with it more quickly and efficiently. But what would life be like on this super Earth if it exists? And how common are these planets in the galaxy? And could we ever visit or communicate with them? These are some of the questions that NASA hopes to answer with its future missions and observations. In this video, we have learned about the discovery of a super Earth, TOI 715b, by NASA, and what it means for our understanding of the universe and the possibility of life beyond Earth. We hope you enjoyed this video and learn something new and exciting. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this discovery and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.